Welcome new students. I'm Rich Linosi, Professor of Digital Media, and I'm here to talk to you about the syllabus. A syllabus is a contract between the professor and you. It describes the course, tells you what you will learn and when, lists all assignments like tests and essays. It describes the grading policy used in the course as well. Pay attention to the course calendar that's in the syllabus to stay on track of all your assignments and due dates. My advice is to print the course calendar from the syllabus and put it on your refrigerator or someplace that will make it easy for you to check every day. This will keep you from missing any assignments, especially those assignments you might not be able to make up. Now every course has a website located in Blackboard. Blackboard is the college's online learning management system. Whether you're taking an online class or a traditional class, your instructors will use Blackboard to post their syllabi and may use Blackboard to give tests, post handouts and assignments, provide a Dropbox for things like research papers and artwork, or post supplemental materials like research notes, wikis, PowerPoints, and external links. Most importantly, it's a centralized location to view your grades and communicate with your instructors. Well, I hope to see you on campus, and when you're there, please stop by the Center for New Media in Chapman Hall. Hello there, I'm Professor Sue Lugley, Program Coordinator of the Business Program at MXCC. There are a lot of expectations for you as a college student. You're to show up to classes and participate, do assignments, take exams, to essentially learn. But college is also about forming relationships with other students, and equally important, with MXCC's staff and faculty. Faculty at MXCC teach, but also have another important role. We're here to help advise you. We set aside time, office hours, each week to be available to you so you can meet with us. An advisor is a one-stop resource and personal advocate for your success here at MXCC. As an advisor, I can help you out in many ways throughout a semester. I know about MXCC's policies and procedures. I know about different program majors and what they require. I know the course schedule and what courses are coming up and when to take them. I can also give you advice on how to get through them. I know who and where to go for tutoring, and I know about deadlines. I also know how to get you through your classes here at MXCC, but also onto your next set of goals, whether that is work or transfer. I write recommendations for scholarships, internships, and for transfer. I can help you develop and define clear, realistic educational and personal goals. If you struggle at your time here, I hope I would be the person you would reach out to so I can help. I hope I have built up your expectations here for what an advisor is and what we can do for you. What do we ask from you? Three things. One, know who we are. You do that by logging into your account on mycomnet.edu. We're listed right there. If you're on campus, you can also ask anyone in the social science faculty office, the business faculty office, enrollment services, or at Platt's Media Center. Number two, make an appointment with your advisor to introduce yourself. How? You can reach out by email via your student email account or stop by our office hours. Each of our office locations has our office hours posted or a secretary who can also tell you when we will be in. If you make an appointment via email, introduce yourself. Tell us who you are and tell us what you would like to meet about. Please keep the appointment and show up on time. If something changes, send an email canceling. Otherwise, we worry. No one likes to be stood up. Three, take ownership of your education. Be prepared for a meeting. Bring a list of issues you'd like to discuss. If you come in prepared, we will have more time to go over everything. Remember during registration time, we may have over 100 students to see in roughly six weeks. Those advising slot times are very precious. You know going to college may be overwhelming and expensive, but advisors are here to guide and help you through the process. I look forward to seeing you. I'm Pam Frost and I teach math at the college. Today I wanna to share with you some of the ways to be successful in math. And the first and most important way is by keeping an open mind. You have to first believe you can learn math in order to learn math. Once you got that down, it's pretty simple. Simple things like attending class, 
people laugh at that, but you know, you got to be in class in order to get the benefit from that experience. You got to bring your materials, you've got to be on time, stay the whole time, and participate. And participating doesn't necessarily mean talking all the time, but being actively engaged in whatever's going on in the class. Next, you got to do your homework. You, you do well in math by that sort of, what is that saying, slow and steady wins the race. Just day to day, go to class, do your homework. But if you are having trouble, you got to get help right away. There's two ways to do that. One is through office hours where professors like myself are sitting in their office just waiting for you to come and, you know, so I can help you beyond what I can do in the classroom. But also you develop a different kind of relationship with your instructor and that also helps you be successful. Another way is by getting free tutoring through our Academic Success Center. There you can work with a peer tutor, another student like yourself who excels in math, or professional tutors. And again, you can't beat the price. But with math, if you fall behind, it's hard to get back on track. It's, it's much easier to stay on track all the way. And finally, when life happens, and it will, you need to communicate with your instructor. Let them know what's going on and they can work with you. But if, you, if they don't know, what can they do to help? So I wish you all the best and welcome to Middlesex. Hi, I'm Rick Erickson and I'm an instructor in the Digital Media Production Program. It is you who is gonna determine how well you do. And one of the key, key pieces is how organized you are as you're presented with projects and homework and things of that nature. So please, early on, if you're having trouble, don't wait. If you don't understand the homework, don't wait. We are here in order to help you move through that process. And the earlier that you connect with that support, the better. As soon as the faculty and the staff see that there's an individual and that individual is, is motivated and invested in their success, then that connection that you're gonna form is gonna actually be valuable through your entire journey through Middlesex. Again, I hope to see you guys on campus real soon and I'm really excited that you guys are about to embark on this journey. So good luck.